put up in the chat. <laughs> Mainly what I'm up to. So, like I said before, I take this thing and another and drop one out. So, uh, yeah, I'm just looking at some stuff, trying to figure out some stuff. So, like, like I said, I'm about to get into this modding stuff. It is what it is. You know what, it's that much <coughs> move things around. I'm not gonna uh, showcase this video, but show y'all what I'm doing, what I'm been up to. So. A little tedious, but nevertheless, it's worth my trip. Ninety five hundred that I've been working with, and I had to have one of my, like I said in the last stream, he had to fix things in the depth. So I don't know what he had to do, but things was off. So, uh, and it was probably off because only when I got this mod, it was already like a. a starting point. So the only files that was here was the def and the uh, vehicle file. So of course he probably would have had to change the things up because of our versions changing up in game. <clears throat> and uh so I did add everything else in here. So I could be able to uh, start working things over into Blender, and that's where I'm at. And that's where I've been. So figuring this stuff out. So this is how far I've gotten with my own. So so far I'm looking good because now I'm learning how to actually deal with the textures a little bit better. It's a lot of work. But it's worth it's worth my time of trying to get this stuff. I know uh according to the modding aspect, uh I'm still learning about the AO baking feature that you can use to actually bake the uh the parts, stuff like that. I got I'm luck I'm fortunate to get this far. And I've just been you know, going back to school. So when I started looking at this part and looking through these, what's the name? But this isn't the whole truck. So I decided to come on here for a couple hours or whatever. I got other things I got to be doing. So I figured I'd kill, kill, kill out some of this uh, time just messing around. Some of the stuff already I had already uh, assigned the materials to. That's why you see a lot of this is, is being done. I mean, it is, some of the stuff is done. Only problem I've been having with is the light. That's why you've seen the light. Me dealing with the video of the light. What's going on, man? Oh shoot, I. Man, I'm still learning, bro. I'm still educating myself, bro. It's it's a lot of work, bro. It's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. I'm about to show you how much of work it is. Just to get to this point, you see how I got this green? Okay, this I I pretty much resemble the same green um of the model it was, you know, 
So I technically had to re like redo the textures. Um, I'll show you, and this stuff's gonna look foreign to you. It's gonna look so crazy when I show you. It. And I'm still, I'm still, still working, still trying to figure this stuff out. So, but I got a lot of, a lot of influence. A lot of people say, oh, well, go to Google. Oh, well, I went to Google. Thank you. Thank you for telling me to go to Google. So this is part of what I had to, this is part of the, what had to be done. See all this mapped all up? These are notes. So I had to actually, to get this paint job, that's how much had to be done to get the paint job. I didn't even do this part. For some reason, it just popped up. Oh, that's a lot. You know, and each part has to be colored. You know, each part has its own, you know. I'll use a perfect example of why, why I say that. Now, I'm going to show you how much I've learned. <clears throat> But good to hear from you, Hank. I, uh, you know, good to hear from you. Yeah, but I'm still, I'm still learning how to do this stuff, man. It's, it's crazy, but I'm worth, I'm, I'm, it's worth the trip. Why? Because I'm tired of, um, waiting on folks. So I'm starting to learn this stuff on my own now. Uh, just like I, that, that last video I showed, that was the stepping stone. And I'm a little bit more, I got some notes over here, and I'll at least show y'all how much I've, I've learned this far. Where I can actually, um, I, I got some direction now. So the only thing is, it's just, um, this, it's, it's the textures. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Um, uh, yeah, I know. Um, I know you've been popping up here and there, so you know. And uh, yeah, you're doing your thing. That's what you got to do. You know, you got to make that money. You got to make that money. Did you get those free trailers I sent you? Yeah, yeah. Somebody had made some tankers. And uh, send them. I send them to the group. So hope y'all got them. Hope y'all enjoying them. Whatever. But uh, all this stuff means something. And it's like me going right back to school, dude. This is just. This is wild. This is wild. But it's it's worth the trip. Why? Because I ain't got to worry about nobody else. Do once I learn this, I ain't got to worry about nobody else doing nothing. But I'm gonna figure it out on my own. What it you know what it what it what it reminds me of when I got my CDL before I got my CDL no one would help me no one knew that knew the answer I had to figure out myself to get my CDL and to this day I'm still learning about CDL why because it's always something new same as this it, it, and that's what it reminds me all it did was put me back into the mode of going back to school that's all that's all it did. Fine. Uh, let me switch the uh, the scene. But, um, I thought I was showing y'all it. Uh, let me switch the scene real quick. I'll be right back. Um, y'all only seeing part bits and pieces of it. And that's my apology. Here y'all go. Sorry about that. I luckily I looked over here and seen. But I see. So now I can read read back. I mean, all of his footage, all of his content. I don't care. You know, I'm gonna show what I'm doing. But to get to this point, that took time. That took some hours to get to this point. To get that, now I'm gonna show y'all this part. Pretty intelligent guy. So. You know, don't get it twisted that I ain't gonna figure this stuff out, or it's so so above me where I can't reach it. Just that's just the paint job, just one paint job, all of that, for one freaking paint job. 
I'm thinking I'm in, in the right what's the name, but that's all right. I got it figured out. Because <clears throat> um, this is ain't this is still in Steam, but it's not in the game part. So because of my displays, I had to put my I had to move this display over because it kept getting in the way of my window thing down at the bottom. So it it, it kept getting irritating, so I had to move it over on, on my right. That's why y'all kept seeing the right. Uh, so I had to move my display capture over to this part. So all of this had to be, I'm still learning how to actually move this thing around. I'm still trying to learn this part. Now the thing about it is when I knew I was on the right track is when I started seeing this. When I started seeing this and I started seeing this and I started seeing this. I knew I was on the right track. So just like I said, I'm out here figuring this stuff out. See? That's the animation right here. So I'll just, that's half the battle. Even to get the truck in game, cause this, it, cause my, my modder buddy had me, he, he got me to this point where he said, I gotta work on the PD, PMD file. Which is that's the main, that's the heart of the truck. That's the heart of the truck. That's what makes the makes the truck show up like this in game. Okay, this is just showing y'all what actually shows up in game. Okay, so uh, so he he tidied up the, the file for me, and the engines already done showed y'all the engines what I can do with engines and stuff. I I should have showed y'all. Y'all should have knew that much. Those that, that doubted me. But I'm already on, you know, on the right track. Okay. And that paint job looks pretty good. See, the thing about it is I'm not trying to get it so crisp and so perfect that, you know, it, you know, the game is automatically going to do that. I just want to get it to where it shows up in game. If I can get it to show up in game, I will figure out the rest. That's all I'm trying to do. This, I mean, I'm taking this from a point where it was on the mod site and it was dead to, I, to where I got it to this point. And this is where we at. And I'm, I'm quickly figuring this stuff out. You know, scripting right here. So I'm, I still got a lot more to go. But I'm learning as I go. The lights so far are hard to do, and I think I had got them to show up before. That's why uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to use SES's light. I may go on ahead and find my own light where I ain't got to worry about the textures breaking and stuff like that. I create my own. If I create my own stuff, then I ain't got to worry about it breaking so fast. Normally, if you use SES's stuff, which is SES's stuff is good. It's just the whole concept of every time they update, then it breaks the mod or it, it kills the texture. So I have other stuff. If I can get this together, oh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's just the tip of the iceberg. Y'all don't know where, which direction I'm going. You know, but you're going to learn. Y'all going to know. Y'all going to know. Those that doubted me. I mean, I know I got people out here that have confidence in me uh, of, of, of my work ethic. You know, but I'm I'm getting it. I'm quickly, well, slowly, according to myself, but quickly figuring this stuff out. I'm gonna show you a perfect example of how far I've got. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to pick something else out here. Uh, now, I got the light to a point where I can actually. Now, all I I think I'm what I'm doing now is adding pieces in here. Which um, I had stumbled across it, but I had to actually go back to the basics, you know, uh, and I had to find information based on the basics, you know. And people have their own style of how they learn, you know. This is the way I learn. This is how I do. I, I'm a slow learner in some some aspects. But when I learn something, I'm going to get it. 
know. So, uh, figuring this stuff out. I got, and I'd already told you, I got Jeff in my back pocket. I got various other people that has put information out here for me. And I stress that if you doing something, put, put it out here. You ain't got to show me. Put it out here. Just put it out here. That's showing me. That's showing me how, how, how to do it. You know, don't talk at, oh, well, I'm going to help you. Now, I just, see how I got a texture issue right here? So that first, I had it, uh, it was all green. Now I just found a, another, uh, I lost a texture here. So that's just another learning curve. I'm going to figure it out. Like I said, I'm going to figure it out. And all I got is time. You know, you may not be interested in what I'm doing. And sometimes this actually inspires others to figure this stuff out because nobody else won't do it, won't help them. So, you know, normally you have to help yourself. And then that's when everybody starts jumping on the bandwagon and say, oh, well, I could have helped you. But no, nah, could have doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work. You know, it doesn't work for me. So. Now it just popped back up again. See how I just fixed it? So, you no. Know, but I'm, I'm learning this stuff as quick as I can. And if anybody else is interested in learning like I'm learning, then I'll give you the information I'm getting. I'm using. See how almost in every mode is, is the, the, uh, the pain is popping up like it's supposed to. And I can actually add the metallic to it. I'm learning these values because I'm actually I found information where it's actually like his, this guy actually spent his whole channel telling me how all, every piece works, every little thing on this program works, which I'm gonna have to sit down and write notes and act like I'm in school all over, again, which is fine. I don't mind doing that, but I, I'm work, I'm learning at my pace. I'm not learning at a school's pace where I got to worry about a, pay, uh, a school telling me how fast I can go. And if I take my time, I'm a, it's going to stick. That's all. So let's see. I want to up this. I don't know if I can up this or not. But a lot of it is, is, is experimenting. See, a lot of his experiment. Now I just got the metallic to make to make the uh just by me just changing that value it allowed that to show up even better. Now the only thing now is I gotta get to the lights. I got the uh the chassis so far uh textured. These lights are the hardest part because I think I'm gonna have to separate them from from the front or separate these. And I think they're just the lenses. Okay. I don't think I will. I think I will have to actually add another note inside to actually fix that. I mean, actually create that, which I gotta, you know, I'm already stumbling across the stuff. Okay. Uh, but each part, you know, has its own ending or its own, uh, So I'll let me see if I can. I think I had pretty much script everything almost the same. This has been the hardest part right here, I'm trying to figure that out. And my darn window, uh, I mean my taskbar keep getting in the way. Yeah, but Hank, I got you. Oh, shoot. Just wait. Just wait. Once I really figure this stuff out, just like I put this channel together, I'm going to do the same thing. And 
man. I'm going I'm to bring out some stuff because the first, the first bus I'm going to do is that J4500. That's going to probably be the first bus I do because I'm going to go right back to what I was supposed to be doing and figure that out and get it textured out like I want. And and, and, and technically, um, the only problem with it is the collision. The collisions is off, uh, off track somewhere, or it doesn't have collisions. I may have to put collisions in it so when you drive it, because there's nothing wrong with the bus. It just needs to be updated, and also the uh, and it makes so I understand this stuff. It's just that's putting pen to paper. You know, that's all I understand it. It's just me figuring this stuff out all the way. You know, and because I'm so ambitious, and it's, nobody else will help me indirectly, or they helping me indirectly by putting into I mean putting content out so I can grab it. And information that's what's helped me because I'm not done with this I want to I want to grow I want to chrome this out I'm gonna have to separate this part from from the actual because this is technically if I actually I'm gonna show you all something if I actually um, I'm not even familiar with the terminology of this yet because I gotta get I gotta take notes I gotta figure all this stuff out but as I'm going I'm just a student still. So if I actually take these out, that's the lights right there. And that's, if I actually take that out, because I need to see the, da I, the dashboard will probably be the next thing I try to see if I can actually edit. So I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to take all this out first. Now, I'm a little bit more better than I was when I first showed, showcased that I was interested in it. Okay. Plus, I got to rename all this stuff. That guy, Mo Joe, is getting some great uh, HTS plus mod. Okay. Uh, okay. Is he is he is he willing to? Uh, uh, share share the the, uh, the, uh, the wealth or what? These are, if, if these uh, yeah, because uh, the buses are out here. It's just that nobody's updating. If you can find somebody, to, uh, if these these guys are putting this stuff out, but they're not updating. It. There's nothing wrong with the buses. They just need to be updated. You know, a lot of a lot of it is the scripting. You have to because the, as the game progresses, you know you have to add to 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 the parts. Just like I had to bring this thing up to part. This was only two files. That's all it was. It was only two files. I made it what it is. I made it to the to the point, and I was able to still show this this mod in the game. Okay, and that's all it is to it. If he, I mean, and a lot of this stuff be locked. That's why I said, stop locking your stuff. I mean, if you lock it, then that means you don't want nobody else to fix it. That's all. That's what you're telling me. You don't want nobody else to fix it. You don't want nobody else to touch it. And it's fine. It's fine. Because somebody's going to have it where they're going to be able to unlock it anyway. They're going to figure out how to unlock it. Yeah. There's no door that's not been unlocked, you know, you know, or they may just move, they may move off the idea and create their own, you know, now that D4500, I've seen that, but they want so much money for the model, okay, and I can show you all the model, this is, this is, I'm about, I'm about to really, really show y'all how, how, how far I'm getting to this thing, and I know this stuff. I understand this stuff is high as a kite. And come down to these models and stuff like that. Model. So all this stuff is just just me messing around here. Okay, forty-five key. And that's the thing that people forget too. They don't they don't 
really look at how much stuff costs. This is just one of the models. Okay. So I'm going to show you all one of the models. That's one of the models. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't stop here. You know, you got other stuff that needs to be done. I need, I need to, uh, let me see. I can show y'all, but I'm going to have to uh, put my chat back up here. Take my other thing up here and put it up. You see how much they want for this model? $149. I don't have $149, you know. But I know that's why a lot of my it's cost you, you know, because I understand, you know, the person's paying out their money for the model. Uh, that's just the way it looks um, after it was done, you know. Sometimes they come with the tech, they come with everything you need. You know, in some cases, you know, but I ain't gonna quote, quote, quote on that. But I'm gonna show y'all. And a lot of this stuff is just, it's, um, let me find my other one. Man, hold on a minute. See, here goes some other stuff I'm looking at. See? The other stuff I'm looking at. So some of this stuff costs money. It costs money, and people are not gonna, gonna not. Hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Sorry about that. That's somebody real that came in. Stuff I was looking at. I had windows I had open. Sorry about that. But that's, but that's why. Uh, I keep telling people that uh, uh, when you're a content creator, you can do what you want. There's so much out here. It's crazy. And I'm just looking at how people are, 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 are profiting off this stuff so easily. They're profiting off of it, which you can't knock their hustle. You can't knock their hustle. I'm gonna put my um my other screen screen up there. I just got a little uh little memory thing. Little cross that my my daughter had made. Hold on a minute, y'all. Need to put the chat back up. Let okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let me uh, cut this off first okay now yeah but the thing about it is yeah that's what people don't understand they don't look at they don't look at all that they don't look at all this stuff costs money bro it it costs money now i'm about to show y'all now that's the actual framing of this okay so just like y'all seen that one uh that one um uh section I showed where you seen the frame of the truck. So you get you get a lot of stuff. But it's just a whole concept of what you gotta pay for just to bring a bring a truck into the existence. Then you gotta put it together. Or a bus or whatever it is. You know, that's why a lot of people mooch off the off the uh off the games uh uh, truck, you know. Yeah, but I had went to this before, 
and try to show people what I was doing before, and they probably didn't believe what I was what I was doing. You know, I, I think they just thought I was just oh he just messing around. He ain't, he ain't doing nothing. He just blowing smoke. No, no, I ain't blowing smoke. When I put my hand to something, trust me. And I learn. I'm ready to learn something. Trust me. I'm out here to do it. I'm gonna put it together. I'm gonna figure that out every time. So these are the textures. This is the material right here. This is technically the skin for that actual butt. Yeah. Yep. I figured you know you know you know the bus. But this is the dream bus that I want to put together. Now they got one for this is one is $149. That ain't even all all of it. Um then they got another one for 95, but you still got to pay the extra money for to get all the stuff. Is either you can actually cuz I found somebody actually took a picture of and a lot of these guys are taking a picture of the bus or whatever it is and frame it frame it themselves. Okay, which makes sense. You just taking a picture and you're framing it yourself. They were the checkers. See? So you get all this stuff, which you won't have to do all this. And he actually showing it in the game. I mean, showing it not in the game, but showing you on. Uh, uh, oh, this is uh, Autodesk. This is Autodesk Maya. So it they showing it actually being put together. So it can it, it can be put together. And that's why I said Blender ain't the only hardware you can use. I mean, software you can use. You got Autodesk Maya. You got Zmodeler. And Autodesk Maya costs a lot of money. You think, yeah, it costs a lot of money. Uh, I think uh, the last time I priced it, you see, I can look at it. I can look it up. We on here. I can look it up. But people don't look at, they don't look at all this stuff. They don't look at, this stuff costs. The cost. That's why I respect and understand how things are. The Autodesk Maya. Because that's how Farm Sim is made. That's how 90% of your, 100% of your games are actually made. Okay, that's what this is. The 3D printing and, and design. Well, this is, it's 3D computer graphics software that's what it's called okay now and this is the price of of Maya software that's why I said so yeah uh, $1,785 a year now you got people that actually go to school so the school actually pro pro provides them with this with this um with this uh, uh, software, okay. So you got folks that are paying two hundred twenty-five dollars monthly for to use this program, okay. Yeah, but look what you're doing. Look what you're doing. I I, I turned the music down because I want I want. To Show you all what Auto Death Maya is all about. That's, I already told you I was already in this stuff. It's just, and that's, yeah, that's why I said I was already in it. And I could have used Auto Death Maya, you know, but I'm using the cheapest thing I can get, which is which is Blender, and Blender is up there with this. Blender is in the school. Okay. And it's the same, it's pretty much the same program. You know, they just make you pay for the, uh, for the service. That's why I said Blender is moving up very fast. Because that's where, it, the thing about it is something that is free, you're going to get more influence from but when it comes down to it's gonna hit the ground running quicker than than Maya. Okay. But that's an excellent program. But that's mainly school stuff. 
You know, that's when you really, I mean, really doing some stuff. That's where you get, I mean, you're really getting down to the nitty gritty, but you got to make, be making, these folks is making money when they doing this kind of stuff. I was going to get into gaming at, I mean, I knew a, one of my uh, uh, family members was getting into this, you know, which is, which, you know, they was going to do uh, game creating and stuff like that. Yeah. So, just like I said, I mean, is either you help me, I mean, you know, if you don't help me, I'm going to still figure it out. It's okay. Still figure it out. But, you know, God will still help me in what I want to do. You know, that's all. As long as I ain't hurt nobody, you're going to help me do whatever I need to do. And once I get that, the textures is pretty much the hardest part that I was trying to figure out. And once I figure that out, next the next thing is to start adding adding loads to the to the trailers and stuff, stuff that I want and stuff that people would like to see. Yeah, you know, like that bus sitting on on a on a uh, on a um, on a Vandal trailer. Oh yeah, I know you don't. I know you don't. I know you don't. But I need to I need to educate myself properly so. You can officially be able to help. The point: if I don't educate myself, that's just like you. It's just like you a driver. If I didn't get my CDL, I can't help you. You can't pay me if I don't know if I'm not an expert, or at least get have a concept or have a willing to willing to learn how to do. You know, that's why if I was one of your drivers, I'll be the most probably the best driver you got. Cause that's the way I work. I work the same way. Anything I get into, I perf I try to perfect it as as much as I can. Now, technically, a lot of the pay mods I got pretty much everything I want because I don't already pay for. It. So now it's all about figuring this stuff out for myself, so I can I don't have to pay. You know, I don't have to pay if I can if I'm going to take the payment. I take the payment and buying the models myself and doing it myself. And then showcasing it, and at least I will show you how to do it, so you can do it for yourself, so you can enjoy it just like I'm enjoying it, not may always making profit off. It. You know, it's just like the whole concept of of giving somebody a fish. Why would I give you a fish and I can teach you how to fish to make your own to get your own fish? And that's still that's helping you. That's helping you. That's holding more weight than me just giving you a fish. You got a lot of folks that's giving fishes out, but they're not giving. And it's, if you notice, this is the same same program. You see how they how they texture it? It's the same. It's just a little bit more money for this stuff. But this is probably where you ain't got to really. Is it? I mean, Maya is, is off the hook. Maya is off the hook. I did. I was looking into this when I was getting into farm sim and doing modding. I mean, I was editing. I wasn't doing. I had the uh, the Giants editor. And I could get the get the mod in the in the editor. I couldn't go forward. That was the problem. Now I'm going forward. I'm putting it in, and I'm going forward. You know, same as what I did with when I was learning how to play an instrument. I'm still not as as, as savvy playing an instrument as I should be. But but it takes time. It takes suffering to do it. So. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to go through the trials, figuring this stuff out, so I can be able to do it for myself. And then when somebody else needs me to do it, then I try to help them do it. But it takes time to do this stuff. It's not it's not as easy as you think, and it, it can be very very time consuming. It will over it will over it will it will consume you. That's why a lot of a lot of a lot of modders get burnt out. You know. I I have enough discipline where I won't burn myself out. You know, I won't burn myself out, and I won't let nobody else burn me out. You know, point. So, uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm of a different breed. You know, uh, I help you as far as I can help you. You know, and show you as much as I can show you. You know, if I can show you, you know, and then some. You know, younger folks are are eager to learn. That's why kids. That's why kids of this generation now 
are eager to learn. They learn so fast. And you have to stay within that learning curve now so they can, so you can um uh, uh they are always advanced to be more advanced than the older folks. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Because their mind is wide open. They ain't got nothing else to worry about other than learning. <laughs> That's the perfect time to do it. Yeah. Yeah, but I got a daughter that's doing that. I don't know if she's doing it on the computer yet, but she's doing it on paper. Yeah, but this is the part that I was trying to show her. These are the programs that they're going to have you in school doing where you can do it on the computer. And it would come out even better because now you ain't got to really use your hand in so many words. You can use the computer to do a lot of the work. Same as when they making it making a game. See, there's another look. Somebody actually doing the art. I didn't even see this part, but they taking the controls and actually creating stuff. You know, technology has gotten so advanced. It's it's crazy. It's a perfect time. You know, but the thing about it is, you got to be careful how to engage with it and not get too involved with it. Where you forget about the basics. That's one thing I will always. That's like if I if I decided to, if I work on a tire or take a tire off a car, I still know how to go back and use a tire arm or four way. See the point? I know how to go back and use a four way, even if I don't. Even if I got impact, I got electric impact. But I can still go back. When that impact doesn't work, I still can use my hand. You know point? That's just like if my car breaks down, I still know how to use my hands and my feet to get me to work. You know point? Some people, oh, my car broke down. I can't get to work. They got the bus. You know? So I'm still, I'm just showing you all a little bit farther. There where I'm going in the direction I'm going and I'm I'm trying to figure I could have got a, a a trial with them but that's just another learning curve that I would have to learn you know I could have paid into this program but why pay into this program I mean I can use blender and blender probably ain't no harder than Maya it's pretty much the same you know it's still the same learning curve so I mean you just still you got to sit down you got to take notes you got to still act like you're in school but that that's Maya. So technically that this model being created in Maya, but they just adding everything in here and it's showing you how it looks. And this is Blender. That's the same mod in Blender, I think. Is this Blender? No, this ain't Blender. This is uh what is this? Normally it would tell you. It looks like Blender a little bit, but you see how it can change the textures? I don't know what it is because it, it, it isn't telling me at the top. So it's another program. That's why I said they showing you how I looks in other programs. Okay. So technically, all your mods come like this. So you have to actually put the skin on it. You know, they're all framed up like this, and then some of them are actually can be whole if they. Because they have to create it, and you're paying for their work. That's all you're doing. That's all a lot of modders are doing. They're paying for somebody else's work. Not unless you're actually, actually doing it by from scratch. Which, if you can do it from scratch, you're a bad person. A bad person. Okay. But all those are skill sets. Now, I don't know if this game, I mean, you could probably, well, I know somebody that actually did a, uh, put a, a machine in ATS. Because you can put this in ATS, ETS, whatever you want. You can put it in whatever you want. But I'm just trying to show y'all, help y'all see the direction I'm going. Okay. So now, uh, this is a high quality poly, you know, real model that, Enhance. Okay, so this gives you the breakdown of what this mod is all about. 
textures, all that stuff. You know, and that's where mainly where a lot of your buses come from. See, all the stuff comes from somebody actually uh, bring it, uh, framing it up, making it, and putting it in game. Now the, the mod. Right now here's a Greyhound uh, MCI 12, which the game already got one. So why not, you know, bring this one into existence instead of spending it, spending it forty four dollars? Probably why it's forty four dollars. You know, because you can actually take this and put it in the game. So I got to know something to be able to go into this and figure some. And I mean, I, I'm not even. I'm still a, a novice in this thing. I'm still a novice, and I'm able to find all this stuff out. This information and still show you all this. So trust me, I'm 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 one that th uses. I'm I'm one individual that uses his brain. Yeah, you know, when I'm at work, I don't have to really use my brain because what I, the what I, the thing that I'm doing. I'm not using it other than my physical. I know I mean come home and use my brain or go and, and if I'm somewhere else, I don't use my brain when I'm at work. I just don't. Don't need to. I mean it's, what's so hard about put I mean what's the I'm putting linen on a line. That, making it easy. But here's the lights that I was looking at. So normally, uh, if I want to really, really get deep into these lights, because I already seen somebody actually do it. And I'm sure all these other modders have went to this part. You know, took this or took a, uh, took images, copied them, and then actually uh, and uh, render them in the game. That's why you get so much realistic stuff. That's why I Prime was it was it, uh, was it uh, Warrior Prime. That's why his his lights are so realistic. And he probably just took it and just used it as a as a as a as a tool to be to bring it to the existence. Not so much as taking it and actually scaling it. He probably scaled his own and and a lot of you got a lot of guys that can do it. You know, I'm not, I'm still learning this stuff. So I'm not gonna fake the funk. I'm still trying to figure, find my way. Yeah. Still trying to find my way. So, uh, mainly what I was gonna do is I was gonna import these lights in. I was already, I got them to, I just need to make them more clear. But once I figure that out, then I'll start adding pieces in there. But I was going to look in here and see if I can import any, uh, this is where I get stuck at between the P, the PMD, I mean the PIM and the converter picks. Sometimes I get stuck on that. So that's why I said I'm still, but if I'm making my, like, this is like, they used to have a, a yellow pages. Let your fingers do the walking through the yellow page. That's what they used to call it. And that's all I'm doing. I'm making, I'm using my hands to see for me. And once I figure things out, you know, just like I figure out the game, I know how to do certain things in the game. You know, bring it. I mean, you know, change the the uh, the uh, uh, I added music to the game. I did this to the game. I did that to the game to my life. So it's, it's the same kind of stuff. And all through school, I messed around with computers. So it's just that I didn't take it seriously until I got out of school. Like anything else. So, 
my materials I'm looking here and I may not have the materials that I'm looking for. So I'm just messing around, figuring stuff out. This is how I got the uh because this used to be a jazzy cat. That's why I said a lot of people would say, Okay, well, this is somebody else's mind. No, it's not. Now they probably took it from Jazzy Cat and created their own and making profit off of it. But Jazzy Cat technically is the first one that actually had it. You know, because it was a traffic mod first. Okay. So that's how I came up with the the PMG file. Okay. So I'm not gonna re uh bring it back in because I already have it in here already. So my main concept is just showing y'all that I, I pretty much got an idea of the direction that I'm going. Okay. That's all. Just letting y'all understand that I'm, I'm, I'm figuring this stuff out. And I'm giving y'all an opportunity to see that I'm doing it. And once I actually give me a few, give me a little time, I will figure it out. I didn't want to do it. Cause I was sort of lazy with it. And then once I started really saying, okay, well, I figured I ain't gonna, ain't gonna be too many people that's gonna help me. So I need to figure it out myself. So that's what pushed me to start figuring this stuff out. Uh, I got the J4500 in here. These are a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna get rid of these. Cause I'm gonna start over this uh file right here i got from from jeff uh, from half fast game so i started off with learning from here and start branching off on my own and creating my own style on how i was going to do it so uh and this i used to play uh, i used to deal with me z modeling Z modder is a good program, but it's not it but it's not like uh like Blender. And a lot of your modders are going to Blender. You know, now Z modder was easier, but the guy that actually does uh, actually owns it, he take he took you through the through the through too many rodeos for me. You know, 'cause I actually tried to use it and I couldn't use it. I could not use it. Yeah, I could not use it. And and I'm like, dude. You know, textures to base. I need to look into that. And I'm just sort of figuring this stuff out as I go. And I'm just trying to get at least an hour, hour and a half in, maybe two hours. Most we already tipping at an hour already. And I'm, and I've wasted an hour just showing y'all this much. You know, point. This is all content for me. You know, it's all content. It's whether you want to see uh, Facebook know is just content. If y'all ain't interested, then you just ain't interested. That's I can't tell you. I can't tell you what to look at. You look at what you want to look at. You know. But um, I know what I know what di which direction I'm going with this thing. I just need to find out where I do my my base. And then I think I got to go into the, to get the base for, uh, I think it's in my F file. Got where I deal with it, cause um I gotta um update it to one four six anyway, so yeah, it has to go. There it is. I know I had it somewhere. 
Okay. So what I'm looking at is I want to look at the textures. I mean, not the textures, but the, the lights and stuff like that. That's what I'm looking at. So materials, models, vegetation. And it's my day off, but well, I gotta go to an appointment uh, in a few hours, about an hour or two. But I got none but time. Now, let's see. This is a, um, the Sterling. What's close to the Sterling? Interior. Uh, it's not showing me any uh, texture. Yeah, yet. Normally, you have all this stuff all mapped up, but I'm I'm learning and creating my own style. On how to find stuff and and so a lot of times I lose stuff and it's it's all to help me figure out how to find stuff. Uh, that's just the way I learn. I learn trial and error. That's the way I learn. think I might be in the wrong place. I think I gotta go into the death file. I'm sure that's where all right where I gotta go. Cause I'm going right straight to the truck, but the truck is like this, technically. The game only allows the textures and the uh, and the materials and stuff to show to show up in game according to what the way you um the way everything is mapped. Um so I just gotta find this is how I uh found a lot of stuff anyway. By just messing around, just doing around. Uh to find my basic again here so find it from here so I ain't as savvy as all the rest of y'all out here uh, maybe the bodies will probably hate on me oh well, you 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 showcasing you don't even know what you're doing still I guarantee you I'm making an impact I got your attention. I got your attention. If you a hater, I, I, got, I got your attention. Yeah. Just you won't be making no money off me. Not unless I want you to make money off me. That's all. I think it's I think it's under G. As far as I remember, I I used to, it's under G. I'm sure it is. They're gonna T the T seven hundred. Uh that is gonna be the next one. One of the next ones. And a lot of these y'all see see them in here? Well, some of this stuff that that's A T that's um uh G T A stuff. It it technically has no business in here, but when you're in this area, all files are going to show up as, as they are. 
you know, so it doesn't, it's not going to discriminate, oh, because it's, it says this and says that, it still can show up because it's a zip file, because technically SDS files are actually zip files converted to SDS status, so, so the game can read it, that's all it is, uh, these, once you see this, it's still the same, there it is, they're going to base, that's all it's for, so I was going to find it, just some of the crosses, um, now, and then sometimes that's how I find other stuff that I'd be looking for. I'd be looking for something and like, I what could I do with it? And sure enough, I stumble right back across it, just like anything else. A okay. vehicle, truck. Okay, now this is, I think this is where the materials are. I just got to figure out which one I want, but. It won't really matter anyway. As long as I got a format of it, I can actually fill in that space. So I can get take the 380. Oops, this ain't it. Yeah. I'm getting there. Give me a minute. Getting there. Our truck. Is that it? Probably gonna have to uh go straight to. file itself. I don't have to do it. Just to see because um sometimes uh Blender is finicky. Very finicky sometimes. Clear out my uh, clear my what's the name out again too. Find a display. Hey, if somebody else showed me how to do this. I make the I make the computers find it for me. Once you understand the basic of stuff, it's all the same. It's just the whole, it's just the skill set. It's just like, we'll say, if you're working on cars, you got people that specialize in certain stuff. So, all of them, all of them at the end of the day have to know the basics in order to be a special, be a special. It's like I can specialize, my specialty could be brakes, just for the simple fact, because that's what I like to do. And I probably can get that in and out faster than anything else, you know, out of the bay or out of, you know, uh, get through those, through those, um, those jobs quicker than anything else. Okay. So, uh, that's the same as mod. It's just like, sometimes you don't have just the same modder. Okay. And modder is supposed to stick together. They, they ain't not supposed to hate on each other and stuff like that. Because you may be more better with textures compared to me being with the scripting, compared to me being to, or another person being able to actually in game something, same as same, you know, that's the, you got the special. And that's just the way it is. Uh, I never knock a special. You know, I never knock anybody that's trying to, trying to learn. Regardless of what you're you trying to learn, you know, uh, that's one thing I never did. You know, uh, I've learned that way, uh, because that's just the way it is. And normally, if I get a mod, that's why you got people, other modders that make, okay, I'm about to get, let the cat out the bag. A lot of your modders actually buy the actual truck from an actual modder that's more advanced than them. And all they do is actually edit that truck or that vehicle or whatever it is they got. The promise is that and it's not to give it away. That's the promise that they give. You know. But, you know sometimes stuff get out. You know. Um 
That's why you you make you make sure out of all you're getting, you get an understanding. You know, uh, you know, because when you're dealing with customers, customers can break you. They can make you, and they can break you. And I've done, I've felt been in that in that line of work a long time, so I know. Uh, 16 years, technically 20 over 20 years in customer service because I was a cab driver. I was a a, 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 a a tire technician, so I know that. So, so I got so many files on here. It's, I ain't able to find it, find it as fast. But y'all understand where I'm coming from, and I really don't have to find it. You know, I'm just sort of messing around here now. Uh, but you, you see my direction on which way I'm going. I don't went from this. Let me see. This is, this is, a, this was another 9,500 that I was working on. And, uh, it was the same truck, but I went on ahead and added some of the stuff. And the reason why I say that, because here's, here's what I added. Okay. Now this is how I was messing around here trying to figure some stuff out. And and this was like me still learning. Okay, so this is technically a model. I mean, a file that is junk because I already got one that's fixed. You know, I don't. I mean, I was adding sounds. I thought that I would be able to go ahead and because I I thought it would have been that easy just go ahead and it should have still showed up in the game, but because of the game being so advanced now, because uh, after 1.35, everything that broke everything older, so everything has to be up to date. And a lot of times you have to rebuild. You have to take all your textures out, rebuild them. You know, and that's why you seen the green texture on my on my truck because I actually had to strip that truck and actually take them out, make my own file. I mean, make my own texture. Uh, which is would have been cooler because then I won't have to worry about my truck breaking as fast as anybody else that uses the SDS um, texture or material. Not to say there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's just the whole kind of stuff of, you know, every time there's an update, it breaks it. You know, uh, that means that you have to go right back into the base and wherever my base is, I can't find my base. Can't find my base, so I'm just I'm just messing around here, helping y'all see and look at it. I like the way this thing looks, the way it looks. Now I would if I now I would I like the way it looks. Now, I don't know how it would look in game. To me, I I mean to, for it to show up in game, I now probably probably got it to a point where uh, where I would export this. I will export this and just see if I can get it to show up in the game. That's that's how, and that's when I will really see progress. Okay. That's when I really, really, really will see progress. Because then I know that I'm traveling in the right direction. That's the collision. Those are all the wheels and stuff. Because also, uh, Blade, I had actually invited, uh, Blade to actually use this truck as one of the loads. So it was, it wasn't just a traffic truck, it was a load truck too for those that have the modern, I mean, the, uh, the, the wreckers. This is that same truck. Okay. Same truck. It's just that if you re, if you rename it, it will actually, uh, So that's the actual collision. So that's technically what's wrong with the um, what you call that, um, the MCI J45. And I got, I got, I'm gonna have to save this anyway because uh, I don't want this. Uh, I, I'm, I've been working too hard for this stuff to not be. Uh, you know, I still got to take all this stuff back off.
because oh that's why the global thing was down okay i was wondering so if i want to take all this stuff off i hit that I take that off and that takes all the all the uh the notes as well as the collision so don't think i ain't learning and then i still probably gonna have to put uh airlines on it because they don't have airlines because i think it's this this mod is 131 it's, it's a version 131 so that's way before we actually got airlines if i can get it in game i figure out the rest you know that's that's the hardest part and I'm sure it will probably be in game. It'll probably show up, but I'm not gonna quote. I'm not gonna worry about it. I just, you know, I'm gonna save it here. And we are already uh, over an hour. I'm about to probably go another probably another ten minutes, and I'm gonna get off of here. I just wanted to just go on ahead and touch base with everybody. Because um, a lot of times I try not to be too far. Cause like it could be a week. Cause I'm already seven hours. I think I'm already seven hours in the game when it comes down to uh, being up to date. I mean, being um, in compliance with uh, with Facebook gaming, so with the level up program. So, so this is one that I already have already already saved. So just like I said, you see the progress. That's the seven hundred. I ain't even got, I ain't even messed around with this yet. Which I'm about to start make, messing around with the textures with this. I'll save it. I'm probably going to go on ahead and go out of this and bring something else in here. So I'm going to see. I want to see if I can bring it, bring this uh, J4500 out here. On based on what I already have in place, and I should be able to just go right to it and bring it out. But I'm gonna see. But I, I just gone ahead and do the textures because that I just learned how to do the textures a couple of days ago. So uh, it wouldn't have been nothing for me to go on ahead and uh, take the J4500 interior. Hey, I think I got a. PM. I said I, I get these confused every time. I always get them mixed up. That's where all my work is, is in Blender work. Probably gonna have to go. Those are probably dead files. Cause normally it would showed up by now. So I probably uh, I'm probably going to delete them and just start all over. Which a lot of that was just learning how to actually import, export. That's just another another uh, another uh, skill set that I'm gonna have to learn. I got a J45 in here. And my eyes ain't the best either. I get some glasses. I ain't spent time getting glasses. Been too busy working and ain't taking care of things that I need to take care of. And that's just 
where it goes. I tried. I, well, I just go in and import this. Why not? Just, to, just for crap and giggles. Just so y'all think I can't do it. Y'all may think I can't do it, so no problem. And this is just, just. Just for my haters. That's all. Oh yeah, this is another vehicle that I wanted to. Oh, this 3500. This is another one that I wanted to uh, get together. So now, because I'm learning textures, I may be able to get this thing in game. But I know I'm probably going to. Have to um, Redo the death file. Which the 3500, uh, this is almost like my, this is technically my truck. This looks just like my truck. Stuff for the front. I have a '96. This one I think is uh old, old one. Up to this, up to this year, because they kept that same body style. But this was another truck that I wanted to use as a uh, as an escort truck. That's why, now that's why my, my, uh, desktop be all messy, cause I've had so many files. So this is all the, all the errors, cause everything has to be redone, cause it's so old. So since I got the directions on how to do it now, let me show, prove it. Prove it to y'all that I got a direction on how to do it now. Okay. Now, because I had restarted it, my texture, uh, I mean my, uh, now this, this is supposed to be my, well, this is the, the, uh, product based path. I just made it general so I know where my stuff is. So technically technically this is the way the truck should look. So technically so this is this gives me an idea of what I'm working with. Okay. So now, sorry, messing around with this thing a little bit. And these are the pieces right here. That's the inside, that's the motor, 
That's the inside of the truck. I got to learn how to actually change the name of this stuff, too. Makes it easier for me to, for me to uh... So I'm still learning the controls and stuff. More to learn, as usual. This will be the perfect escort vehicle or uh, logistics vehicle. And because it looks like my truck, I definitely want to um, do something with it. That's how that truck looks. So it would be nice. I'm just messing around here. Let's go out the rest of the time. Got another process thirty minutes maybe. I still gotta uh I gotta make a move. Alright, mouse fail. Let's see if I can go on here to where I call it shady. That's where I need to go. Now one thing I need to learn also is I'm wondering if I actually if I actually imp I mean create a texture for this truck it will show um all the notes. That's one thing I need to figure out too. Oh, it just popped up. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So all of a sudden, it um it gave me. I thought I would have to go into the add-on to see if I can get that to show back up. So I don't have to do that. Ah, ah, there are materials. There are materials They're showing up now. Okay. But I'm I'm what I'm gonna do is learn I'm learning both sides. I'm learning if I have to make make my own textures or um they will create them for me. So I'll do the note thing. I mean if I gotta create a note pattern for everything to work or I gotta manually put the uh textures in. So But uh, let's see. We're gonna go with. Let's, let's mess around with this frame a little bit. Oh, it's already made. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. It's already made. So I didn't have to do nothing. Now I can alter it right here. So that's what I was trying to figure out. If I have to actually make the make the actual textures, or all I have to do is just um, just put the material in there and then it renders it on its own. Wow, that is nice.
to making this thing even easier, easier than I thought. Because I thought I would have to do all this. This is a lot of work. Even though I have the uh, have the I the general idea of how to put this together, because I have because all right my on my notes right here. I have three, uh, five different uh modes that I can go to. Uh, one is the P. Well, all of them has a name before uh the texture. I mean before the actual title. So we call it the BSDF. So that's just one of them. Okay, well I'll show you all. These are all the notes. So these are all your notes. This is what I'm learning about because I, I found education on this stuff. Where you add the shaders. See, those are all the shaders. Those are all the outputs. Those are all the outputs there. Textures, because you can uh, alter all that stuff, just depending on what you're trying to make. So, this thing is already, and I'm already moving forward. I just gotta uh, figure out some other stuff. That's beautiful. Now I gotta find out how these lights pop up like that. Wow, they got the lights on here too. Oh, they never should have showed me this stuff. Should never show me this. So this thing technically has everything. It's just trying to figure this out. I mean, figure out the scripting part. Man, this is definitely gonna help me. That's gonna help me put lights on the on the sterling. Okay, so they got lighting, evaluator. Okay. Man, look at all of that. Wow, that is a lot. That is very interesting how all that stuff is up there. And that's mainly what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the basics and how a lot of this stuff is connected. So big. So I will definitely know which way to go. And SES already, because um, in order for me to do this much, I had to actually create SES. I mean, I had to add an add-on for uh, SES tool. So I had to go here. So I had to edit this stuff so in order to get to this point you still gotta have this SDS stuff right here so and the uh the convert the converter picks wrapper it's conversion and uh import of the game something let me see game what is that let's drop it down it's gonna tell me exactly what it is yep so it's a wrapper add-on to to use with converter picks within and imports game models with ease. So instead of you actually doing all the extra legwork that you used to do now because they don't ex So technique SDS, this is where you get the SDS modding. Uh, you have to go into their, what's the name? I'm going to show you all that. Where am I at? I'm going to show you all exactly where, how I got. To this point, and I'm just study getting further and further. The thing, just and they automatically tell you how to. Uh, a lot of stuff is is just self-explanatory. So this is the wiki right here. So this is technically the starting point. So if they was really uh 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 discriminating you being able to mod their game, they wouldn't even allow you to do it because they're giving you the software to do it. And they are they're tech. They're from they're a tech company, okay. 
So this is the wiki right here. So I'm gonna have, I know I'm gonna have to probably go back to here so I can understand more stuff. But this is where Blender Tools is. You know, this is the information to actually add to Blender. This is the conversion stuff. So this is game ex extractor. This is how you extract the files. Be able to edit. This is how you extract the base information. See, a lot of people ain't gonna even show you this much. I'm gonna at least show you. If I won't talk about anything, I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna just say, okay, well, here's enough, here's just a little bit to feed you, and that's it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna encourage you to figure this stuff out because I want to see progress in everybody. I want to see everybody succeed in the game to be able to do things on their own and expound on their own. Why? Because that's what it's about. Some people don't don't believe in that. They don't care nothing about that. They want you to to continue to be dumb. You know, so they can so they can take advantage of you. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. So this is where all this is the information that I had read this. This is how you get uh all the information on how the um uh, that's the transmission stuff. Okay, see that's the scripting Al, you sort of understand why so technically that's why I keep trying to tell everyone that um ETS two with the Zero Truck Simulator two has came out before ETS. You cannot forget about the basics. Okay, you cannot forget about the basics. I don't even care what you're talking. Everything has the basics. Okay. And you got map editor here. Uh, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of information. I would encourage anybody to go here and check it out. You know, tutorial. This is how you make mods through here. See, and what and what truck do they shoot? Do they use? They use a truck from Euro Truck. Why? Because that's where it started out. See, I'm still learning, and I'm gonna probably go back in here myself so I can learn how to it up. Uh, do a lot of some of this stuff is is not outdated, but it it gives you a got an idea of how things work. Point. And I can show y'all where. Uh, the game archive uh, extractor. But what I'm looking for is the uh, what is the other thing that I was trying to show y'all, and it breaks down the uh, the information. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. File format. Okay, so now you understand where I'm coming from. See, you know, I'm just I'm showing you everything I didn't already pretty much touch touch base on. Some stuff I forgot about because it took me. You know, everything has a format. Okay, so that file that I was showing y'all with that truck, where I had to actually export it, import it into into the, into a Blender. This is what these are. So you have technically it was technically these three. This is the collision one. This is your uh the geometry one and this is the descriptor. Okay. These things in order for you know, so you got pip, you got pim, you know, 
this is the stored one, you know, but a lot of this stuff is um is obsolete now because as um um Blender has advanced, the game has advanced. So now um you know, they got an SII file right there. So it's utilized, I mean unit serialized file. S U I because at first when uh we converted from um uh, from F mod I mean to F mod that was when uh excuse me, that was when we ended up um when F before F mod we was able to actually in in uh create engine sounds for the truck through O G G. Okay. So O G G all of all your files, I mean, all your engine files are OGG files. Okay, all uh, okay. Once uh, uh, they start dealing with bank files, that's when this SUI file started uh, format started coming in in this place. Okay, uh, that's the material. That's the sound reference. Now you got sound reference. Sound reference and SUI actually work hand in hand with each other. Um, the SES, just like I said, it starts out, your files all start out as a zip file, and you can format it to SES, which is SES archive, so it's a source for the game data. Okay. Uh, this is where I started out before I really started getting into the modding, because I needed to see exactly what everything meant. Okay. Uh, documentation. So documentation, uh, this is the console, console, uh, that's how you convert the console open, if you're interested in that, that's developer mode, you, that's why you, uh, when, anytime you see my, uh, my game, if I'm in game, you see the little errors and stuff at the top, that's what that is. So now, I'm actually watching this stuff in game as I play the game. Okay. If you don't know how to do it, don't go in it. If you're not familiar with the files and stuff, don't go in it. Because you will mess up something if you don't, if you don't, if you, if you ain't careful. Okay. So this is some other stuff right here. All and this is technically communicate. This is technically the once you edit that part, this is the console. So once you um, open up that, use the the, uh, the little button right uh, above the tab and the one uh, button on your keyboard, then this is what you can do. Okay. But I don't use check or export. And I don't use some of this stuff. I only use certain things okay. like I use uh, you can turn off stuff through there you can disable beacons you can it's a lot of stuff that you can do but mainly the ones I use is uh, I don't want to tell y'all yet you change the weather change the climate the time is what I use. So I use G, which this is this is sort of an area that I should have been going to in the first place because um, that's why I said I have to go back to this information in order to continue to understand more stuff that they put in game. So, but if you want to change the time, this is where you go. You put it in G underscore set underscore time and then. Uh, if you go zero six, because mine is already preset to zero six, then it's going to go six hours after, and then um, ahead, and then that's where I normally don't put it no farther than that because I don't want it to uh, go eight hours unless I I go to sleep. So that's the only reason why I use that part. But you got. There's a lot of stuff you can now go to. I used to use go to. I still use go to. Go to uh, with a um, uh, Eugene. Go to Ben. Which you go go to then flat. I mean then uh, space then Ben 
and then once you click it, then you're going to F9. Uh, it used to be F, just straight F9, but you got to go Control F9 because that button is for something else. That's why I said a lot of stuff is, it needs to be uh, re, re, uh, re, uh, revised. Okay. So you can screenshot from there. You can do a lot of stuff from there. You know, warp or whatever. So, let's see what else is here. I'm, I'm mainly trying to go right where there's some other documentation I want everyone to see. The game data. Is that it? I think that may be it. These are the definitions. Okay, now you now you understand where where the def file come in in the play. This is the game, root game folder. So technically, that the way the game starts out. I mean, that's how it actually reads uh, in the. Uh, in the game log, okay. Now it doesn't it specifically read like this, but it it gives you an idea of, of the pattern. Everything is. Okay. A lot of this is scripting. Uh, it always has a root game folder up there first, and, and so on and so on. So a lot of this stuff is just just good to know, so you understand what the game is doing. Sounds, we'll go to sound. Oh, that ain't what I'm looking for. So player trucks. A lot of stuff in here. That's why I said it's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So the game is based on a lot of information. Okay. All right, what time is it? Got probably about 15 minutes. Uh, I think I may be going to catch this out at, uh, okay, this is miscellaneous. Uh, okay, so this is the update. If you notice, this is automatically set up for ETS2. But it's along with uh, ATS, it's the same thing. Uh, that's why uh, a lot of your mods are actually hybrid. You know, and the only thing about it is it's all about the modder, whoever the modder is, they can make it that way. If they make it, can make it where it'll show up and all it is is a scripting in the game. I mean, in the file in order for it to be whatever it is. This is what you will see if you're going into the uh, into the uh, mod file the accessory data. This is how the scripting has to be. And if it's not, then it's going to break the game. That's where you get the way a lot of your crashes come from because a lot of this stuff and this is new stuff uh, because now we got add-on accessories and stuff like that. Which this is probably probably one four five one four four. Well, they say that this page was last edited on 18th, uh, November 2022 at, uh, 12, uh, 58. So, all right. So, all right. It's an hour and 45 minutes. I already got a uh, word that got to make a move. So, uh, all right, hopefully y'all gain uh, some knowledge or whatever. Uh, a little bit or whatever. Hopefully y'all enjoy this little bit that I gave y'all. So, all right. Uh, I am going to sign off. Hope y'all 
enjoyed the show. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Bye, right, this boy's you out.